Hello everyone, Sunly here and welcome to another Bedrock Edition tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to build some very simple, flexible, and improved Trident Killers in your Minecraft world. Now if you're not aware of what a Trident Killer is, let me quickly explain because these things are basically the best thing that we have on the Bedrock Edition. So they are a fully AFK and fully automatic way of killing mobs from a mob farm. They can farm pretty much any mob in the game and they're basically perfect because they drop experience so you can set this up at like a spider spawner or a raid farm it will automatically kill all the mobs they will drop their loot and you will get experience from the mobs as well all while just standing there doing absolutely nothing no auto clickers or anything and this works on every single bedrock edition platform mobile console computer no matter what you're playing on as long as you're playing bedrock edition you will be able to build these trident killers and as an even more added bonus if you are holding a looting sword as the trident killer is running and killing mobs those mobs will drop additional loot from the looting effect so all around these things are basically perfect and if you have any form of mob farm in your world you should certainly build one of these so again, these Trident Killers work for pretty much every mob in the game with a few small exceptions, but other than that, if you have a mob farm, you can probably funnel those mobs into a trident killer for afk experience but what i have right in front of us right here is a very simple demo of how exactly this works so we're just going to go ahead and throw a trident onto that slab right there and as you can see this is just in front of a sticky piston which has a very simple clock on it so if we go ahead and unpower that that's just going to move back and forth and then whatever mob falls in there is just going to get immediately killed by that trident killer and that is pretty much it as you can see it is dropping experience they're dropping loot as well this is pretty much perfect and you can funnel again pretty much any mob into this kill chamber so a few things that you're probably wondering about this is do you need to have a fully enchanted tridents or do you need to have anything on these and also do they take durability damage or do they break or despawn and the answer to that is basically no these things will last forever they will kill infinite amounts of mobs and never break and never despawn and it's basically perfect yet again one of the greatest things that we have on the bedrock edition so we're going to go ahead and turn that on as you can see all those guys will die and our you know trident will not break even though we threw it in survival there is no fishy business going on here this is literally like one of those rare things that is just all around pros with no real cons it's pretty awesome so let's go ahead and turn that thing off break that glass pick up the trident as you can see, it has the same amount of durability as before. One more thing worth mentioning is that most of the times the Trident Killers will use a carpet, but this actually has a flaw, and this is something that you may have seen as well. Sometimes the mobs will jump in sync with the Trident, never actually dying. This is really, really annoying, but there's actually a very simple fix for this. If you just go ahead and switch out that carpet for a slab, then you will never see a mob jump in sync with the piston and they will always die when they should. I've done very extensive testing on this, never seen a single mob jump in sync with the piston. Since I can't be in two places at one time because I'm not literal magic, uh, this is gonna be a little bit hard to explain and demonstrate, but I'm gonna try my best to bear with me but basically the person who actually throws the trident that trident is going to be tied to them so this person needs to be online and i think in the area for the trident killer to actually drop experience and this person also has to be the person to hold the looting sword to get the looting effect if this guy over here wants to use the trident killer they are going to need to pick up the trident and then throw it themselves for it to work perfectly for them so if you're playing on multiplayer server, keep that in mind. So the four different trident killers that I'll be showing you how to build in this video are before you here. So the first one is a kind of fancy vertical one that I've never seen before. This one is a little bit slower since you have to give the items time to fall and be collected by the hopper minecart below. However, I think it's really fancy. You can't really see any of the pistons when it's offline and overall just kind of a cool one. The second design is a slimeless version. So basically it just pushes all the mobs against a wall where a trident is stuck in the ground basically and this actually works surprisingly well however you should not use any zombies with this design because I have seen the baby zombies get stuck in the actual piston and never die and you guys know how mischievous they are when they build up and start to group up 
not a fun time so keep in mind this one is only for non-zombie related mobs the third design is more of your standard trident killer with a two wide kill chamber and this is the one that i would suggest building for about 99 percent of use cases just super simple and straightforward and you will pick up all of the experience as long as you stand all the way up against the blocks design number four is the industrial trident killer this is the one that you should use if you have any form of raid farm zombie pigment farm or just really any kind of farm that is really pumping out a lot of mobs very very quickly you may also need this one if you have more than like three or so spawners it's just to keep up with the sheer amount of mobs this thing is absolutely killer and uh yeah very very industrial and now we're gonna hop into the tutorials for these four different trident killers of course these are all pretty similar and pretty straightforward however each of these does have a little different tweaks and changes that are necessary to keep the mobs from actually glitching out and then being able to kill you so definitely keep that in mind but there will be timestamps on screen right now for the four different tutorials in this video so skip around if you feel like it or watch it through all of them and fill your brain with knowledge for design number one we're going to start off with this very basic setup a double chest with a hopper going into it hopper minecart above it with a rail facing to the side and then right above that is going to be your actual you know normal piston this is going to be your actual killing block where all the mobs die and where you collect the experience as well so make sure you get this all lined up properly in your world first thing we're going to do is put some solid blocks to the side of that hopper minecart so round the piston with a ring of blocks on the back side and then get a extended ring on the top area as well with one slab right there that'll keep mobs from seeing you and you know baby zombies and stuff from glitching out and then we can also go ahead and put some blocks on the floor this is going to be where you're actually going to be standing to gather all of your experience and you can leave a gap to open the chest if you like now we need to put one more ring of blocks above that and these do all need to be solid blocks just because you don't want mobs glitching out from here on up everything else can just be glass or literally whatever you like this is just going to be the tube going from whatever mob farm you have into your kill chamber from here we need to install our redstone so just go ahead and remove three blocks to the side of this so place one block right there with a redstone torch on the side of it saw a block above it redstone dust on top of that and that will power your piston while keeping everything nice and hidden which is cool now you want to get yourself a repeater on three ticks right there and then a redstone dust down there with a saw a block above it and then place your on and off lever right there and there you go that is all there is to it you can put a stair to hide that piston and then also throw your trident or tridents on top of your piston and let's just throw some mobs in there see how this thing works and as you can see this thing is working just fine so for design number one it would appear that having more tridents on your piston does actually help whereas normally it just one trident is enough but yeah having more tridents on this one definitely does seem to be killing mobs a lot faster than normal for design number two we're going to start off with a similar setup a double chest with two hoppers going into it this one of course is going to be your main killing block and then just your normal piston to the side of that as well let's go ahead and surround that with a couple layers of saw blocks one on the ground floor one right here as well with your slab in place right there that's how you're going to see what's going on throw in your tridents and also get your experience too and then let's move up and then one more layer of solid blocks right there so that's pretty much your kill chamber done your actual drop shoot is of course going to be above this so whatever mob farm you like is going to be going right into your kill chamber so now we need to remove these four blocks right here and install our actual redstone circuit. So we're going to put one piece of redstone dust right there, a saw block right there, redstone torch with a saw block above it, repeater on whatever setting you like, saw block, and then a redstone torch right there. That is also going to power your piston. And then you want one saw block and then your lever to turn on and off your machine. So all you need to do now is throw in your trident. So just aim at the middle and side of that block, throw it in there and then activate your machine. And you should see that get moved around a lot that's how you know it's working and now we can toss in some mobs and we should see all those guys get completely wrecked and also remember this design should not be used for zombies because baby zombies will get glitched inside of that piston for design number three we're going to start off with three hoppers pointing into our chest on the right side with our sticky piston up here on the left 
And these two blocks right here are going to be our killing blocks. So it's going to be a one by two kill chamber. And we're just going to start off by surrounding this entire thing with a layer of solid blocks on the bottom and then a layer of solid blocks on the top as well. And then we're gonna put one slab in front of that piston, a lower slab, two lower slabs right there, and then continue surrounding this with another layer of solid blocks as well. Again, that will prevent mobs from glitching out. And then your actual drop shoot into this thing is just gonna be literally, again, whatever you like, going from whatever mob farm you like into your kill chamber. You're also gonna be standing on lower half slabs and up against this wall, that way you can actually collect all of the experience. For the redstone circuitry of this thing, we're gonna head over to the left side and put one block right there with our lever on it and then another three blocks going down in perfect diagonal. We're gonna have one piece of redstone there, our repeater going into a block right there and then a piece of redstone underneath it with a redstone torch there powering everything. That is of course gonna power your piston and it be your off switch. If you want to save a piece of redstone dust, you can remove all of that and put your lever one block in, but I think that looks a little bit more ugly and isn't as convenient to churn off. So now, of course, we can go ahead and turn that thing off. Just throw your tridents right on the middle of that slab, as many as you like, although you only need one, and then we can drop in some mobs, and as you can see, it is working just fine. Moving on to design number four, this is the industrial one, and you only really need this for massive mob farms like pigmen farms or raid farms or stuff like that. And also keep in mind, hoppers can only transfer 9,000 items per hour, so if your farm produces more items than that, you'll need to change up your storage solution. But basically we have seven hoppers pointing into our double chest with our two pistons on the right side. And these four blocks right here are gonna be our killing blocks. So where all of your mobs will be dying. Now we're gonna go ahead and surround the lower area of this with some solid blocks going all the way around, just like so. Layer some on the middle layer as well. And then on the upper layer too, just to keep everything from glitching out. Now we're gonna place two slabs in front of those pistons, two more slabs right there so we can get our experience and two saw blocks up. Now you will want to stand in this general area all the way up against this block to collect all of your experience. If you don't wanna see the hoppers, you can cover them up with a solid block just like so. Of course, your drop shoot is gonna be right above this so where all of your mobs fall into your kill chamber. And now we need to work on the redstone as well. You're gonna have two solid blocks right behind your pistons with redstone dust on top of them, a block right here if your lever on it, and then just a couple more blocks like so for your repeater on any setting one redstone dust and a redstone torch that will of course power your pistons in unison and then you can turn it off as well it'll probably be easiest to throw your tridents from above so you want at least one trident on the center of both of those slabs we can turn the thing on and then just pump in a bunch of mobs and as you can see this thing is kicking butt and taking names it is working very very fine and very industrial as well so if you have any comments questions or concerns about this tutorial or about this machine then of course so let me know with a comment down below always interested to hear from you guys in the comment section always trying to hang out with you guys as much as i possibly can down there as well and if you enjoyed this tutorial maybe consider sharing it around with others so that they can enjoy it too and get use out of it in their world because these trident killers are seriously amazing and hopefully these four different designs work very well for you guys in your worlds if you did enjoy it though please do leave a like maybe consider subscribing if you are new that way you don't miss the next tutorial and i will see you guys down in the comment section and in the next one, thank you again for watching, and then there was silence.